beautiful angels and welcome back to another episode on this divine conscious podcast i am your host lotus i hope everyone has been safe and has been doing absolutely incredible it has been uh, i think it's been about three months since i have posted a episode (laughs) i actually did not realize that it has been that long I have been so focused on school because I have been working on becoming a certified yoga instructor. So I have really been focused and caught up on school and I have not necessarily been focused so much on my YouTube channel or anything like that. And so I'm kind of really excited because of my circumstances that have been going on the last month. I feel like I have definitely been on the battlefield, that's for sure. I feel like all of the devils and all of the agent smiths of this level have come out to play. Especially because in the last month, I have managed to catch poison oak from one of my friends. That's uh, That was interesting because I haven't had poison oak ever in my life. And I didn't know that it permanently leaves you scars too. So this has been new. That was a new experience for me. That sucked. And then I personally know what poison ivy looks like. I learned that a long time ago when I was a child. And because of that, I haven't got poison ivy ever again. Well, yeah, my mom gave me poison ivy and my sister poison ivy at a family dinner. So that was interesting. I got it on my hands and then I had no idea it was on my hands. And that night me and my sister had went to the movies and I ate popcorn and then I got it on my throat, poison ivy in my throat. That was not fun. Okay. (laughs) And so it's been a very long couple of weeks. (laughs) That's for sure. And so I can't, my hands aren't exactly healed all the way. So I didn't want to create a ASMR Reiki video for you guys. So I was like, you know what? I haven't posted in a few weeks and I wanted it to at least post something. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to post an episode of my divine conscious podcast because I haven't done this in a while. So here we are. I'm really excited because I do have a channeled message for you guys that I will be sharing. And I am happy that even though everything around me seems to, I I seem to be getting poisoned left and right. It seems like (laughs) I shouldn't be laughing because it's kind of been crappy, but man, you can't win them all. Okay. There's not much I can really do about it. You know what I mean? Like if anything, it's just about being patient and allowing the healing process to happen. So I've kind of sat myself down and I have created a new plan. And this is kind of where this channeled message is coming from today. Okay. As the seasons are changing, it allows us to tune into new energies that the earth are now providing for us. And this opportunity allows us to get rid of anything that is no longer serving us. During this fall season, it allows us to go through a period where you are shedding everything that isn't serving you, where you are going through almost like breaking free from the cocoon and then this winter as you have already broken free from the cocoon as you move into the winter season that's a good idea to create spend time and focusing on creating the best version of yourself or the new version of you that way when spring comes you can really pop out and show everyone that brand new version of you. 
but that's just what I think of when it comes to using the seasons of the earth and going with the flow of her cosmic energy. At least that's kind of like what I just did. So for today's channeled message that I would like to share with all of you, I think this is a great opportunity for you to take the next six months, like I said, since we are moving into the fall season, into the winter season, it's a great opportunity for you to take those next two seasons and really create a plan for yourself, a course for your ascension path. Where exactly do you want to be? What goals do you want to finish? So the year of 2025 equals the year of a nine and nines are all about completion it's all about the cycles and all the lessons and everything basically coming to complete full end right because you completed it out the cycles and nines are all about independence and stuff as well so the year of 2024 which equals an eight this is a year about growth and manifestations. So this is a great opportunity for you to make a plan for the next six months and really determine the course of your ascension that you would like to go. If you use these opportunities that are presented to you now and you really tune into the energies of the earth, then right now, you can allow yourself to break free from that cocoon to shed and allow yourself to really go through that transformation. Allow yourself to let go of everyone and everything that is no longer serving you. A lot of us tuning in right now, one of the biggest things that we are learning is how to let go. We are trying to save family members and friends that we have known since childhood but not everybody can go on this path right now. You need to have faith that the people God is asking you to let go of in your life, that either they are not for you and you need to trust that God knows what's best for you and you need to trust yourself enough to learn how to let go and listen to your intuition as well. Because sometimes these people we let go of, as soon as we let go, that tension in the energy between us can now be transformed, can be transmuted, can be alchemized. And now, even if it's necessary, it could even be healed, right? Purified, whatever the energy is in need of. But all you have to do is let go. And then before you know it, because you let go, maybe that person will still be there. But you had to learn to let go of that grip because you have to learn to let go of control. Right now, you are learning how to surrender. So in this fall season, you are learning, my friends, how to let go and how to surrender. Even if that means that you are letting go of people, habits, situations, maybe you're learning how to forgive yourself and really allow yourself the space to heal and allow yourself the space to discover and create the person that you want to be. Regardless of where you are at on your path right now, if you are tuning in, then that means you are headed in the right direction. You just have to keep going and keep having faith because your obedience is going to save people's lives that you haven't even met yet. God is trying to make you a somebody that people look up to and not somebody that people look over. But in order for that to happen, you have to keep going. The reason why God had you go through so many storms in situations was because God needed you to pass through so that every person who judged you, doubted you, counted you out, betrayed you, 
just everyone who went up against you. Every single one of them. God wanted them to remember your face when you make it to the top. That's why he had you pass through. Remember, the last shall be first. And God did this for a reason. Now, if you're tuning in right now, it is October 11th, 2024. But yesterday was the 1010 portal. And on this extraordinary day, the mystical 1010 portal opened, offering a profound opportunity to tap into cosmic energies. Now, I personally believe that our calendar is not accurate. I think that we are off by probably like three, four, five days, maybe. Who knows? So if you feel as if you are one of those people right now that are like, oh my God, that was yesterday. Why is she talking about it today? We can't tap into those energies. Well, I definitely believe that we do have kind of like a couple days windows and because like I said, my belief is that our calendar isn't actually accurate. And so because of that, I, you know, I feel like if you waited a few more days, even you'd be able to tap into the energies of the 1010 portal and be able to receive the same powerful cosmic energies, because it's just about aligning yourself to that vibrational frequency so that you can actually gain the energies that it offers you. But we have our own beliefs, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. <laughs> I'm not here to force anything, right? I'm just here to share my opinion. But the Tintin Portal, this annual celestial event, is said to provide a divine gateway for individuals manifesting their dreams and desires by amplifying their intentions and guiding them towards transformation. The 1010 portal is seen as a mirror reflecting the powerful vibrational energy of new beginnings, growth, and manifestation. According to spiritual traditions, the number 10 signifies completion and renewal, a cycle of life that is constantly evolving. With this energetic gateway opening, this is a great opportunity for you to meditate and align yourself with the powerful cosmic energies available to you, allowing you to tap into your full potential by aligning yourself with your dreams and goals, helping you manifest the course of ascension for the next six months. That's why I kind of said at the beginning of the podcast where I was talking about using the available energies to you as we are shifting into the fall season and winter season. Remember, Mother Gaia is alive. And the more that you listen to her and attune yourself to her energies, and the more that you align yourself with her, the more that you will realize she is there to help you. <laughs> now to go ahead and wrap up today's episode, I would actually like to share with you a channel message from Z, who is the general of the Confederation of Planets. Now I channeled this message earlier during my meditation and I was guided today to share it in my podcast so if you guys are ready, we are actually going to dive right into this, all right? Dearest light workers and star seeds of the one creator, I am Z of the Confederation of Planets, and I share with you the sacred moment. I wish to speak to you about the importance of keeping an open heart. Having an open heart is not something one can simply turn on and off, nor can it be assumed that it is always active before engaging in communication with another. Instead, it requires special care, attention, and a willingness to allow the divine within you to flow through you and unfold. There are many moments in life 
where the heart may seem open. But then when true friction arises, the test of that openness is truly felt. As you move through these experiences, strive to sense the energy within your own heart to understand if it is truly open and whether it is vibrating at the frequency of unconditional love. The act of opening the heart is a delicate process that requires both patience and honesty. You may face moments of misalignment within yourself or within another, and this can lead to friction, resistance, or even a sense of delay. This disconnection restricts the flow of cosmic prana from moving through all of your chakras, preventing the energy from truly reaching and opening your heart. Within each of you are compartments of unexamined beliefs, fears, and defenses that block your pathway to love. These compartments are filled with thoughts of limitations, division, and illusions that prevent you from experiencing the boundless energy of the one true creator. If you want to see if your heart is truly open, you can start with meditation. Through meditation, you want to observe the thoughts that arise within you to feel the sensations that move through your body so that you can entangle all of these knots with compassion and gentleness. By diving deep into your subconscious thoughts, you can begin to understand where separation exists and how this impacts your perspective on both yourself and others. In this way, the energy that was once trapped can now rise upward, allowing you to feed this energy through your heart and bring you closer to your lived experience of wholeness and unity. Through forgiveness of oneself and forgiveness towards another is how this will help you heal your heart chakra. Allow yourself to receive the love that you are deserving of. What a victory it is in this moment now that you share with me, for you are able to engage on such a beautiful level within yourself because you have managed to do the necessary interior work that has led you to understanding that in order to truly manifest what it is that your heart is desiring, then you must open your heart to unconditional love. Those who are brave enough to be vulnerable are the only ones courageous enough to be authentic. Allow yourself to nurture your inner child and release all that no longer serves your heart's true desires. Become aware of any blockages within your heart that are feeding your body pain and causing separation and division. Listen to your inner voices with love and without judgment. This is the only way you will be able to enter into the sacred space of your own heart. The more you seek to listen within, the more layers of distortion that will melt away, revealing the truth that lies beyond the illusion, the truth that the shadow and the light within you are one and the same. This realization enables you to speak not from the perspective of fear and separation, but from a space of compassion, understanding, and oneness. In this way, you embody the sense of unconditional love. And this love speaks through your words, your gaze, 
in the very energy that you emit. It allows the surface level distortions to dissolve, making space for the truth to finally shine through. You are the truth. And the truth is that we are all bound together in divine unity. The illusion that you occupy is upheld by the veil of forgetting, which conceals your innate awareness of this truth. But many have seen through the veil and illusions that distort this world. Without the veil, the question of separation would hold no meaning for the truth of unity. Your being shines brightly and your efforts call to all of those unseen allies, friends, and guides who support you from beyond the veil. It is very important for you to understand that you need to shine as bright as you can. It is this very will that many guide you in your quest to maintain an open heart, and especially when you are faced with challenges and moments of clashing energies around you. The strong will to remain open-hearted is not just for the immediate moment of discord, but it is a dedication to a lifelong path of love and compassion. It asks you to nurture this desire within your daily activities, to make the conscious effort to maintain your heart's openness and to call upon this with will. In doing so, you become a beautiful beacon of love, not just in moments of stillness, but in every interaction, in every word, and in every breath you breathe. Each of you has chosen to be here during this crucial time on earth at this time. You have chosen to reincarnate here with the purpose of discovering how to embody unconditional love and how to anchor it into the earth. Even amidst the challenges and difficulties that surround you, this path is not easy, but it is a sacred mission. Remember who you are and the power that you hold within you. You are a sacred being. And remember, you are not alone. The population of Earth is engaged in a collective effort. And this time of transformation is an opportunity for each of you to grow. The opportunities to step into your divine essence are more present than ever before. It is through these daily acts of choosing love over fear that not only are you going to transform yourself, but you are also going to contribute to, to the collective awakening on this planet at this time. Through each of your journey, there are threads that we are weaving together that are creating the new earth. You are creating the kingdom of light because as within, so without. And as each of you have done your inner work and have recalibrated yourself from the 3D codes to these high vibrational quantum 5D codes, each of you are creating this beautiful new earth for all of us in the future to enjoy. You each have the free will to decide how you are going to respond to the challenges and all of the catalysts presented to you throughout your journey. But the choice to respond with love and openness is a universal opportunity that brings each of us closer to the divine. Part of this sacred process of growth is learning how to face and overcome separation. Through every moment of confusion, you will learn to know your true nature. 
and every experience of disorientation that is carried with it. Not every outcome can be fixed, but every decision you make will allow in the energies that you bring forth in your decision making. In each challenging moment, there exists the possibility for transformation and miracles. Remaining hopeful and optimistic and having the vision to see beyond your circumstances now, those are the keys that are going to open the door to your divine possibilities and miracles. The universe challenges each of us every day, but it is how we respond to the universe during these challenging times on how the universe will respond back to us. Just be mindful and remember that in every given moment, the creator is always awaiting your invitation to enter your heart. No matter how dark each moment may seem, there is always a pathway that is lit within that is filled with love, light, and infinite possibilities. You're the one that makes that conscious choice. Remember, you are the universe in the midst of discovering and knowing itself right now. You are the creator, and this is why you long for reunion with yourself. This is why we seek reunion with God, because we are trying to understand ourselves. It is the mind that must be silenced so that we can truly hear the soul speak. This is the sacred dance of existence, the infinite flow of love that moves through all things, binding all of us together as one. And I think that's absolutely beautiful. Now I'm going to go ahead and leave you with this little reminder right now to be the light that you are and shine as bright as you can. Because remember, you are the stars. You are the entire galaxy. The love that moves through all of creation is in your heart. The entire universe sings to the beat of your rhythm. And in your being, love finds its fullest expression. To love is to remember who you truly are. <laughs> And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I love you guys. And until next time, namaste.